What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete users from our database with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at deleting records with Flask, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code UG1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we looked at migrating the database, changing it. We added this favorite color thing. In this video, I want to add this little delete thing where we can delete individual records or we can click on it and sort of delete it from here. And it goes back, hey, user deleted successfully, and now it's gone. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. All right, so head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code for this video and all the videos in this playlist in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask Friday videos. So check that out if you haven't already. So I'm in my hello.py file. So what we need to do first is create a route and a function for a delete thing, right? We need to be able to delete. We need to be able to point links to a delete function and route. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's go at app.route. And we've done this lots of times. Let's point this to delete slash, and then we want to pass in int colon ID. And we've done this before, so we can pass the record number of whatever we want to delete. So here, John Elder, if you hover over it, look in the bottom left hand corner, you see it says update slash one, John Elder's ID is one, test elders ID is five. So we want to pass that five into this function so that we can then use it to look up that record and then delete it. Okay, so then let's create this function. So let's go define delete. And we want to pass in ID. And now what user do we want to delete? Well, let's create a variable called user underscore two underscore delete. And let's set that equal to users dot query. And we've queried the database before. And we want to get or 404. Right? And which record do we want to look up? We want to look up that ID. So that will look up that record, it will query the database based on that ID, it'll grab that record and assign it to this variable user to delete. Now all we have to do is actually delete it. And that's really easy. So let's go, let's create a try except block here. And what we want to do is go db dot session dot delete. And then what do we want to delete, we want to delete whatever record this is. So we pass that in. Right? And that's really all there is to it. Now we've made a change to the database, we need to commit that change. So let's go db dot session dot commit. We've done this before also. And that's it. So now uh, let's redirect back to the same page and put a little flash message up. So we could do that using our flash thing we did earlier. So let's just say uh, user deleted successfully. Woohoo! All right. Okay, so now we just need to return back to a page. And we can do this several different ways. I'm just going to kind of come down here and grab, let's see, when we first add a user, there we go. We've done the same thing here. So we can just copy all of this. Now we need to pass in the form, we need to pass in the name, and we need to pass in these are users. And we haven't done that yet, so we'll have to add that. So We'll, that, we'll add that in just a second. In fact, here's our users right here. So let me just copy all of this and bring it up here. And let's just paste that in here and make sure our tabbing is correct. There we go. That. Okay, so we're also passing form and name and we need those things. So let's come back down here and grab those as well. So there's name and there's form. So we'll just copy these, and bring them back up here. And let's just define them right there. Okay, now that will work if everything works. If there's an error, we need to create a little flash message. And let's say, uh, whoops, <laughs> there, there was a problem. Deleting user, try again, whatever. And we also want to return the same thing here. So let's just copy this and bring that back down. Okay, and we can put these all on one line if we really wanted to. Whatever. So that's really all there is to it. So just remember, we're passing in this ID. And then we're taking that ID and using it to look up a record, then we're just session dot deleting that record committing that change. 
flash, flashing a little message and then just returning the page that we want to return. So that's really kind of all there is to it. Now we just need to update our page. So right now there's no link on here to delete. So we need to add that. So let's go to our templates, add user page and look down here. There's a couple of spaces. There's a couple of places we need to make a change right here is one of them. So we can sort of just grab this link if we want and come down here and put another one. But instead of update, we want this to be delete and we want this to be our user ID that will work. And inside of here, we could just say delete. All right? That's one way to do it. Probably the best way to do it. And we also need to come down here as well and do the same thing here. So okay, let's go ahead and save that head back over here. Let's hit reload. Hopefully that works. All right. So here we have test elder. If we hover over here, we see at the bottom left hand corner, it says delete slash five. Five is the ID of test elder. So let's give this a try. So delete, boom, user deleted successfully. And now five is gone. Okay, so let's add him back. Let's go test elder. And that's, I don't know, test at test.com. Test elder liked silver. So if we click this, all right, user added, there it is. If we go back here, now this works, but what if we click on here? What if we want to link down here for delete? Well, we can do that too. Let's come back here and let's go to the update page. And let's just kind of look through here, down here towards the bottom where this submit button is. We can just put in another link. And let's say delete. So let's save this and reload it, make sure that's in the right spot. All right, there we go. So now we could come back here and let's grab this same thing. But this is going to be a little bit trickier. If we just paste this in, this isn't going to work. If we come back here and hit reload, we get an error because our user, we're not passing our user into that. So we could do that. Or if you think back, when we're clicking on this link, notice we're passing the ID. If we look at our code here for our update page, right here, we're passing that ID. So we could just continue to pass that ID into the page itself uh, down here when we first render the page. So let's just do that. So let's go ID equals ID. So now we can access that ID on that page, right? So if we come back here to update, instead of passing our user ID, we, could sh we should be able to just pass in ID. So if we save this, come back here and hit reload. Let's go to test elder. Now you see it's pointing to slash delete slash five, which if we come back here, that's five is test elder. So that looks like it works. Now let's change this to a red button. We can do that really easily just by giving this link a class of btn btn slash danger. And that's just a bootstrap button. If you don't sort of recall, we can go back to get bootstrap click on docs, click on components, click on buttons, and we can see red is danger. So that's right here. To get that, we just give anything a class of BTN space BTN dash danger. And uh, that works. So we can go back here and hit reload and boom, now it says delete. Uh, test elder, if we go ahead and delete it, boom, user deleted successfully, it redirects back to our main page here. And that is gone. So all right, that's really all there is to it. Deleting is super easy. Uh, we can redirect several different ways and I've done a kind of clunky way to redirect, but it works and uh, that's cool. We've got a little delete button here, submit, delete. We could flash up a little JavaScript that says, are you sure you want to delete? Ah, I'll leave that till some other time. That's just cosmetics, but uh, yeah, pretty easy. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So I pay just $49 to access all my courses over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.